Idea Public Schools champions the belief that every child has the potential to attend college. Since its inception in 2000, Idea Public Schools has expanded from a modest institution serving 150 students to a nationwide network of tuition-free K-12 public charter schools. Now here to share a look into this elevated style of learning is Executive Director Simran Bakshi. Now Simran, I am so happy to have you. We were just talking about some of our school stories during the break and now we get to learn more about you and what the Idea School is bringing to Jacksonville. Yes, so um, you shared some of the information. First of all, good morning. Um, yes, uh, Idea Public Schools, as is, uh, you shared, it is the fastest growing network mm -hmm. in the nation with 143 schools, 80,000 plus scholars wow. in the nation. And we are across four states right now, Ohio, Louisiana, Texas, and Florida. Um, we are very excited to bring Idea Public Schools to Florida. Mm -hmm. And in Jacksonville, currently, we have four schools wow. on two campuses. Okay. So each campus houses two schools, what we call elementary. We, mm -hmm. You know, in Florida, uh, we call it academy, kindergarten through fifth grade, and fifth grade, and then sixth grade <sighs> onwards is called college prep. Oh, I love it. So that. one of our campuses on River Bluff, mm -hmm. uh, it's next to JU. It's called River Bluff Academy and River Bluff College Prep. It's next to Jacksonville University. The other one is on, ba on the north side, Bassett. And um, it's at the intersection of Lamb Turner and Bassett Road. So again, four schools, we are doing great here in Jacksonville. Well, we're it's very lucky to have you in Florida. You know, as I was looking through your material, it just seems like such an exciting environment. I mean, just the fact of how many different elements that you're incorporating into education and the fact that you really have that 360 view of what students need for those next steps. What do you want people to know in terms of the differences that Idea Schools are bringing to the standard education that we're used to? So as you know, every school is different. Mm -hmm. Um, and I am a firm believer in choice. Yes. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. Like I called Jacksonville home in 2007, mm -hmm. educator. I came here as a teacher. So my philosophy in education is extremely, extremely simple. Every child can learn. Yes. Every child can learn if you have high expectations, if you have the right resources. Mm -hmm. So when IDEA came, how it stood out from others was the mission, right? College bound, college for right. all scholars, high achievement and all that stuff. But when I started looking at it, it was more so, it's not just fancy words on paper. Mm -hmm. They had proven track record. Right. So how we are different is 100% scholars, 100% of high schoolers um, uh, since last 17 years have been accepted into colleges and universities and Ivy League universities, you name it. They've been accepted. But for that, these are all scholars from underserved communities. Mm -hmm. 80% of those 100% scholars are first generation college students. So now you see like how many lives have been changed uh, in those families, correct? $150 million in scholarships. Mm -hmm. um, so those were big things that were, that, that kind of brought me to IDEA. And here in Jacksonville, we are going to do the same. So our curriculum is different. It's very, very rigorous. Um, you know, parents who believe that their child should be going to college should come to us. You know, yes. we have a college bound pathway starting in kindergarten all the way to 12th grade. And we make sure that every child attends college and we have the resources for them. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing and look inside your school's doors. Again, you know that if your kid is college bound, this is the place that you want to be. And if you want more information, just go to ideapublicschools.org. And Simran, I know that we will be seeing a lot more of you here on River City Live to learn even more. We're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we've got some Sandy Sounds with River City Beats. Stick with us.